But love can be a powerful thing. If the right love, with the right person, it can be something indestructible that I believe. And uh, love that should, and all in all, with respect, of course, should be trust. You know, I don't want to be too exaggerated on this, but um, today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite romance films. I don't watch a lot of romance movies, to be honest with you, but this one has to be my number one favorite. Jeff Nichols' Loving, starring Ruth uh, N uh, Nuga, Joel Edgerton, Michael Shannon, and what's the other guy's name? Um, Nick Kroll. It's a story based off a true story about the Lovings, an interracial couple back during the 1960s who wanted to, you know, be married, be together, and wanted to live in, so in, in, in the southern states. But during the time of, you know, segregation and unfair law they weren't granted that so they either had the choice to divorce and remain in the south or you can move up north but never come back to the southern states again Joe Edgerton plays Richard Loving Ruth uh, Nuga plays Mildred Loving and I will research a little bit into their you know Passed a bit, but um, or just the whole story dynamic, but I'm not gonna go deep into that. But I'm gonna tell you this this is to me one of the best and touching romantic films to me of all time. And it doesn't really focus much on the romance aspect and not much on the political drama, the court drama that this film really. It sets us out to be. It's more just about these two people, aside their differences, skin color and all, just loving each other. Yeah, they have their um, conflicts, they have their their issues, they, you know. But it's just about them just being each, uh, being with one another, being together, uh, and, and trying to make it work. Um, and it's a really good story. But what I really loved about this film. And this is an independent film, so it's it was entered to the Cannes Film Festival back in 2016. There's surprisingly not a lot going on plot-wise, but the little things that really matter is what makes this movie. What I'm really shocked about this, and I loved it even more when I saw it and I was thinking about it, that this film avoids any cliche Hollywood type movie. Let's say if this was on a bigger budget, bigger scope, bigger scale, the, this film avoids all that. Maybe a little, but it avoids all that. It just focuses on the relationship between these two characters. Joel Edgerton and Ruth are on screen for most of the film. Actually, very much for the whole film. And they deliver one of their best performances. And it's just... And, and, it's, and it's amazing what you see this couple go through. You have friends and family doubting their relationship even when they have kids coming up. You have the law doubting their relationship telling them they need to separate. You have everybody. And you just, the, the core of the story is just about two people against all odds fighting against society that is telling them they shouldn't be together. They're saying, no, we need to be together because we love each other and that's what we're going to do. I love the idea of this movie. I love the idea of people having interracial relationships. We're all human. We all want to feel, to love another. 
we shouldn't be defined by skin color and everything. I mean, don't forget where we come from, but let's not repeat the same mistakes that our ancestors made. And this film is a landmark for me. I love this film. This is this is my favorite romance film, second to True Romance. Um, like I said, there's not a lot much going on here, but it's the small little moments that makes this movie matter. You do see them going back and forth from you know to uh, the South States to the North from the North because they wanted to have a life there and get married, have a kid, and they fought what they want of uh, what they believed in for years, for years, and they had to go through the courts, they had to go through get lawyers for years, and you see that struggle. And it's shocking this film basically wasn't even nominated or even wasn't even recognized through the Academy for this film. I remember watching this at the Tower Theater and when the movie was over, I didn't want to, I don't want to leave. I was in a lovely theater at the Sacramento uh, Theater, um, the, uh, the Tower Theater. And I love that theater. I freaking miss that theater. I miss being there. And when the film ended, red eyes, almost there, but it was a touching story. Now, since this movie doesn't have all those cliche moments, and for those who are used to mainstream movies, you might find this film a little bit, I wouldn't say boring, but maybe that's the word I'm going to use, because there's not a lot going on. Just to keep the film interesting, I don't like where there's extra added stuff in there where it may not. Jeff Nichols tries to make this film as accurate as possible, I believe. And sometimes, well, I'm sorry, sometimes life can have those boring mo moments, but it can also have its uh, precious ones too. Check out Loving, directed by Jeff, Nich Jeff Nichols, who also did Midnight Special and Mud. Please check this out. This dude is an underrated filmmaker. You gotta love it. I like. I love this film. I love this film. Let me know in the comment section what you think is the is one of your most underrated films, and also maybe tell me what film you think it's underrated in the uh, romance genre. Let me know in the comment section, and I will see you in my next video.